Hi, my name is Azal, and this is my final project for my computer science course offered by Carnegie Mellon, 15112, Fundamentals of Programming and Computer Science. My project is based on uh, the arcade game Missile Command, which came out in the 70s and 80s, meant to be played on the Atari system or uh, other arcade systems in uh, game centers. I have accurately recreated the single player mode of the game, where it keeps track of your sc current score and the high score in the center here, which is saved as a data file. There's a certain number of missiles that are released per level, and they increase in speed and number as the levels go on. Every now and then, missiles scatter in the middle. This is done by a random uh, integer, and adds a bit of difficulty to each level. The launch zones are also targeted, as well as the cities, by these enemy missiles. Once the level is over, it adds up your score and gives you bonus points given how many lev uh, missiles you have left over and how many cities you have left survived. After 10,000 points, you are awarded a bonus city unless you have already the maximum amount. Every level, the missiles increase in speed until it reaches a level of 3, at which point the speed is too much and it reduces back down to the original level 1 speed, but it increases the number of missiles so that it's a more elongated uh, level length. As you can see, the high score is updated live, and I, I will let it defeat me. I seem to have a city left over anyway. No problem. I'll now quit by pressing Q, which is a shortcut just as a developer for me. Normally Hitting the X in the corner would work just the same. Now I have uh, an example of multiplayer. I, hear, I have here two instances of the game. Simulated uh, by one computer. But in uh, a normal situation, these will be played on two separate computers connected via Wi-Fi. Both will hit multiplayer on the different computers. And here I have a server, which is created using sockets in Python. One side will be the host computer, and the other side will be the computer that connects to the host. This is my temporary IP. You can edit it um, by typing in backspace or typing in numbers. The port is 8888 for every situation. Once both are connected and synchronized, the game begins. Again, I'm playing as two people, and this is meant to be played on two different computers, so my mouse will be going back and forth for both situations. The windows have to be clicked on once to become active. You can fire and see where the enemy fires, and you can have a sort of war like this, which keeps track of score of who destroys which missile. So as a player one here, which is the generally normal one, uh, you can defend from player one, your city is by shooting missiles, and I'm really bad at this right now, so I'll shoot down here and defend these. There you go. Player two managed to get a score right there. I'll target some more and try to defend it. Each city is worth 100 points, while each launch bay is worth 150 in multiplayer. Once either all the ammo is completed by both sides, or all the cities are destroyed on one side, the multiplayer round is over, and it brings you to uh, an end screen where it tells you which player uh, is the winner, and by how many points. When you click continue, it resets back. That is my project. Thank you very much for listening.